This is my new Ellis 3000 bandsaw. I've been using a 1800 for 15 years and thought it was time to step up so I could do bigger things and do general stuff a little faster. I have it hooked up to 223 phase. It has its own kick out box down here. It breaks. This is simple. Turn it off, put it back on, it trips. Right now I'm cutting two and a half inch DOM. Nice new feature about this saw is the hydraulic is controlled up here now. Makes it real nice. Saw is fully mitrable both ways. Because of the pull right here, I can only go one way, but I use it this way pretty much all the time anyway. You see it's the arm that moves, not the vise. It cuts real nice. It allows me to make parts like this with uniformity and clean cuts. There's a gauge right here and it is accurate. Put it on 45 degrees and cut a tube, it will come out 90 degrees dead on. It also has a really nice vise. It'll go wide. This guard, same thing. And it has variable speed. The old ones in the past had a pulley system with corresponding pulleys. This one has a variable speed pulley. And it's really interesting to adjust and you need to adjust it while the thing's running. I'm slowing the blade down. Back up. Bring in the cam. to allow you to adjust it. With one nut, the whole vice will come out in case you have to do something different. 
sometimes I have to cut a really big piece of tube that uh, requires a clamp instead. For a size comparison, this is my little portable 1600. A little reminder, you want about 8 to 10 pounds in the first inch of travel. That'll uh, save you on blades. Because no matter how hard you try to adjust this, if you've got 20 pounds of down pressure, it's going to eat your blades right up. It also has a real nice chip tray. All in all, looks like a very good machine. Access to the doors inside, both ways. I'll have to tilt, tilt it to get the other side to change the blade out. It sits about two inches higher than the 1800. I had to adjust my stands. That's it. Thank you.